Hi, I'm Jessica here at Nautilus Mission Control at the Inner Space Center in Rhode Island. This expedition season, we hope to find a specific type of hydrothermal vent called a serpentinite vent off the coast of Portugal. Here's the science behind how they form and why they're particularly interesting. In the year 2000, a vent field called the Lost City was found along the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. The vents there formed due to a chemical reaction between seawater and a type of rock found in the Earth's mantle called peridotite. And although this kind of vent has only been seen at this location, scientists on the Nautilus hope to find similar vents off the coast of Portugal, in an area known as the Gorringe Bank. Most of the Earth's mantle is buried far below the Earth's surface. But in areas like the Lost City or the Gorringe Bank, some peridotite can be exposed due to extreme faulting. When seawater percolates into the mantle and mixes with peridotite, it creates a heat-producing reaction. This process is known as serpentinization, and it results in gas and mineral-rich hydrothermal vents. At these vents, the gases and minerals produced could provide an environment where unique kinds of biological life forms can thrive. If we find serpentinite vents this season, it could be the second time humans have ever found this kind of vent on planet Earth. And in addition, if peridotite and water can create environments that support life here on Earth, there's the potential that the same type of reaction could support life on other planets. Again, I'm Jessica here at Nautilus Mission Control. Stay tuned at nautiluslive.org for more live exploration.